Hi everyone. What if the Earth was the size of a tennis ball? What would that make the size of the other planets? Well today we're going to use Excel to help us to work that out so that we can then create cardboard cutouts and look at the relative sizes of the planets. So um, the first thing we need you to do is to create this table in your own Excel document. So you can pause the video and go ahead and create that for yourself. The next thing we need to know is what would the size of, uh, the diameter of a tennis ball be? Well when we measure that it's about 7 centimetres. So we're going to enter 7 in over here uh, which tells us that 7 centimetres is the size of the Earth. The next bit of information we need is all of the diameters for the planets that you have recorded in your Hitchhiker's Guide to the Solar System booklet that you've created in previous lessons. You can go ahead and get that information and put it into uh, this column here right now. Now that you've got that information, we need to be able to work in the same units as this 7 over here, which is centimetres. So we need to convert from kilometres into metres and then into centimetres. And Excel can do that powerfully. The way we do that is by clicking into the meters here. We're going to do the sun first. We're going to type equals. And then we're going to click in this cell here next to it, which is the diameter of the sun in kilometers. And then what we're going to do is multiply that. And the way you get multiply is shift 8. Uh, and multiply by the conversion factor, which is 1000. And we do that. And we get this enormous great figure with lots of numbers and lots of zeros. We want to do the same thing now and figure out what is the diameter of the sun in centimetres. So we're going to go equals. We'll click on here because we're going to convert from metres now into centimetres. We're going to multiply, shift 8, and we're going to multiply by the conversion factor of 100 and enter. Don't worry about this e plus 11, that just means times 10 to the power of 11. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is find out what it is for Mercury and Venus and so on. And the easy way to do that is to come down to the bottom right corner of this cell here, get the little plus sign and double click it, and then move it, drag it, all the way down to the bottom of the column. And that will give you the diameter in metres for each of the planets. And we're going to do the same thing for uh, centimetres column get the little plus sign, double click it, and bring it down to the bottom of the column. And now we have all of the diameters of the planets in centimetres. So the next thing we need to know is, what's the scale factor that we're scaling down to? And so we've said that the Earth is the size of a tennis ball, which is 7 centimetres, but the reality is that we are this enormous great figure here. So the scale to work out the scale factor, we're going to go into this cell, we're going to hit equals, then we're going to click on this cell here, divide which is the slash key, and hit 7. Hit enter, and there is our scale factor. So the tennis ball is a little bit over 182 million times smaller than the diameter of the Earth. Now we're going to use this scale factor to work out the diameter for the rest of the planets and the sun. So the way we do that, we're going to hit equals in this cell here. We're going to click here. We want this information, so that's in D5. We're going to divide by the scale factor. So we just click this cell here, and we get the information from F8, which is this cell. We are then going to hit enter, and we can see that the scale down diameter of the sun in centimetres is 763. We'll do that one more time and then we'll get you to do the rest for yourselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to go equals, we're going to hit this cell here, divide, get your scale factor and hit enter. So we'll pause the, you can pause the video and do that for the rest of the planets. So now we know the size of the cardboard cutouts that we're going to create. Mercury will be th 3 centimetres in diameter. Venus, like the Earth, will be 7 centimetres. Jupiter is enormous and will be about 78, and so on. And we're going to do that uh, as a part of the rest of this activity. Enjoy. 